Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to make a tissue pouch with the Cricut Maker. Don't have a Cricut Maker? Don't worry, you can easily cut these by hand. Super simple, and I'm going to jump right into the tutorial so we can get started. All right, everyone, you're not going to believe how super simple this project is. Probably one of the most simple projects I've ever done in design space, but I have provided you the link to my blog, which has the address for this project. And by address, if someone shares a file that they made completely with design space images or design space shapes, they can simply give you the address of the project where it lives and you can open it on your computer. So that's what I have done for you. So you'll go to my blog, you're going to get the link and then you're going to come back to design space and go right up here in your menu bar, right click and paste. Once you have that, you're just going to click enter and I just need to replace the project I was working on and there it is. And that's it guys. There's simply two rectangles to this project. This yellow one represents the, or I guess it's kind of a marigold color, represents the outer fabric. That's what you're going to see on the tissue pouch. So if we look at this, the flowered material here, that's going to represent this gold marigold color and the pink is the lining fabric and the fabric that you're going to see in this trim part right here on the top of the tissue holders. So super easy. You're going to cut these out. I just cut them in cotton. I didn't use any interfacing or anything. I just simply cut straight cotton. I use some fat quarter pieces. This is great for scraps. Um, your, if you don't have the maker and you want to cut this by hand and or want to cut this by hand, you simply need a rectangle eight and a half by six and another rectangle seven by six. So let's start assembling. Okay, once you've cut your two pieces of fabric, one will be eight and a half by six, that's going to be the lining, and the other one will be seven by six, and that will be the outer fabric. We're going to line those fabrics up pretty sides together on the six inch side. Now you're going to notice when you line these up, one is significantly longer than the other, an inch and a half to be exact, and that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and line up one of the six inch sides of each piece of fabric, and then go ahead and stitch along the end of it. You're going to backstitch at the beginning and the end of your seam. Once you have that sewn, you can see here, I have sewn across the end. You're going to turn it over and pull that short side up to the long end that wasn't sewn. So you're going to match up the other six inch sides. Now, when you do that, this end's going to roll up. That's perfectly fine. That's what it's supposed to do. Just make sure you line up those six inch ends and go ahead and stitch that just like you did the other end, back stitching at the beginning and the end of the seam. Once you have that done, you're going to have what looks like a tube. We're gonna turn that wrong side, or actually right side out. And then you're going to lay it down just like so. And you should notice that if you have it kind of centered, you're going to have two different types of fabric showing. That's perfect. You're going to take that over your ironing board and press it. Once you've pressed it, you're going to fold it in half and just finger crease it so that you can figure out where the middle is. Now you have a crease down the center. Now this step is optional. I did it on two of the uh, pouch holders that I made and two of them I left it off. So if you want to add this, that's perfectly fine. I think it's kind of fun just to, in case you want to clip it on a backpack or something, but it's definitely not necessary. I just took a piece of ribbon and a lobster claw, wrap the ribbon through it, and it doesn't need to be very long and you don't need to use ribbon. You could use a fabric scrap that you have folded in half and stitched. And we're just going to baste that ribbon right along that center line and by basting, just simply stitch it. You don't need to back stitch or anything. We're just stitching right along the edge of the fabric just to keep it in place. Now we're going to finger crease that again just to make sure our center point is still showing. And then you're going to fold one end end to the center. Make sure that lobster claw, if you put it in there, or lobster clasp is facing towards the inside. And then you're going to fold the other side over and just slightly overlap it. You don't need to hold lot of overlap just a little bit because you want to see that cute finished edge so if you overlap it too much you're going to bury it and you won't be able to see it 
So you just want it slightly overlapped. And then I just like to put a little clip in there just to hold that part together and to make sure that I sew both ends with the same edge overlap. Now we're going to sew along the end and when you get to that overlap, you're going to backstitch over it on both sides. So here I'm backstitching over the seam and off the end. I sewed from one end, backstitched, and all the way to the other end. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Once you have both sides sewn, you can go ahead and trim off the tail from your ribbon. And then here I wanted to stop for a moment and tell you, if you want, you can box these corners just like we do in the box pouch, just by sewing diagonally across each corner. I prefer just leaving it just like this. I think it works out just fine. And I kind of like the extra room that I have by not boxing it, but it's definitely an option if you want to do that. So you're just going to flip it right side out. And now you can see we have this cute little trim along the opening of the Kleenex holder. And you just want to make sure that you tuck those or push those corners out fully. You could give it a little press at this point just to make it look a little more finished. And voila, here is your tissue pouch. And that's it. These are super simple to put together. I just put together about five of them in about 20 minutes. It really didn't take any time at all. I think these are going to make great Mother's Day gifts, uh, stocking stuffers, just little things to throw in a thank you gift or anything like that. I think any mom or grandma are going to, going to love these. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.